Uh, sorry about that. Um, where were we? Yeah, so that's the situation we're at now and the, the plan is to uh, lift this off again once Alan has done his fiberglass repairs around the rear end um, because all of that will want painting under there anyway and we figured there was there was no point doing this job twice you know sort of painting all of this and then taking it off again to paint underneath and also trying to do it with the body on not only that it's going to make a load of dust all this cutting and grinding and what have you um, so it just seems to make more sense to to make all our mess now take it off wash the chassis down and clean it uh, then I think we'll maybe try and wrap the side rails and stuff like that so that when it goes to the painter he won't um, he won't make too much mess we've um, we've also got the body shimmed pretty much where we want it now um, we've had to use extra shims on the rear uh, to get our door gaps the bear in mind of course you've got these big runners that run underneath the doors on the body uh, so the body is now sitting probably about a quarter quarter three eighths of an inch higher than it would have been because it's, it's got a, a, a channel you know between the chassis and the and the body if you like um, so we've taken that up on the rear rather than use a load of shims we've gone for a rubber body mount on the rear but we've also used an aluminium aluminium body mount as a spacer between the two so it looks a bit more a bit more like um, I guess you know I, in an ideal world it would have just had the aluminium shim but there you go it, it was either that or use a load there was about a dozen shims in there which looked terrible so we figured that's what we'd do um, so the body is sitting slightly higher than it was but that's a, 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 a byproduct of putting the uh, the body mount runner repair kit in there's there's not really much you can do it, it can either be one way or t'other uh, but anyway that's where we are um, Alan it's Tuesday today we've just come back after the bank holiday and Alan is back on Thursday so we're going to make the fender and make the rear light panel and then I guess it will be towards the end of next week when we start getting those bits I, I might um, I might cut those panels off in readiness for him. Uh, yeah, I think I will actually. I, I think I'll, I'll, you know, once we've got them marked out, I'll, I'll come out with a, a grinder and uh, get those panels off so we're ready just to start trial fitting uh, and try and get that bodywork done PDQ so we can progress this a bit further. But, you know, it's a, a far cry from what it was. I mean, the very, very rotten piece of kit that was brought to us and it is now a good solid car again so that's good uh, I'll give you a quick tour we've got a, a 74 over there um, that's having a bit of recommissioning work done some calipers and uh, what else transmission leaks the gearbox has been out and we put new gaskets in there uh, yours sat there this 68 had had um, uh, later style fenders fitted uh, sort of seven, uh, 70, 70 upwards with the the flares at the the rear of the car um, so we've taken those off and fitted the correct 68 69 style fenders uh, that's the piece out of your car that we've let into there uh, he it seemed a bit overkill to replace the entire light panel for that piece and we thought that was probably a good use of the the part that's going to come out of yours so that's been a monstrous task the car was pretty badly sort of cut about and messed about with but we're, we're gradually getting there and on the homeward stretch now and then inside we've got a 67 tri power that's just been just been painted and that's now going back together uh, that will look very lovely when that's all finished um, and Ronnie's just sorting out bits for that Got a 70 big block on the ramp. Uh, this is a 1963 uh, coupe that we've just done some engine detailing on. That's a, a very lovely piece of kit. Uh, and that was that's a, a, a GM pre-production prototype that uh, slipped through the net. It was destined for the Earl's Court Motor Show in 62 and is super rare and very, very special and very lovely. My dad uh, restored this, dad and Chris, sort of 30, 30 odd years ago um, and is beautiful. And we've just had the engine out, look at those chrome, 
chrome, uh, their, their hand beaten brass plates over the ends of the door shuts and in there that have been chromed all proper GM made for in their prototype shop for, for this special car. Absolutely lovely. And then we've just had the engine out and done some detail work on that to put it back to how it was when it was new. And that's very nice. Uh, what else? Got a 69 Roadster that's just come in. That's going to be for sale. We're just doing a few bits and pieces on that. Uh, that's your engine. All prepped now for paint. So we'll get a coat of orange on that shortly. Um, and refit the intake manifold. Uh, got a 56 over there that's having a soft top frame fitted and we're just waiting the transmissions out of that. It's got some gasket, uh, some oil leaks, so we're waiting for a new gasket set to go into that and then we'll refit the transmission and then it can go for the material to be fitted to the soft top. Uh, the 81 has had the rear bumper laid on and the 77 in the corners had nothing done for oh, such a long time. We need to get that out and clean it down and start afresh. We're, we're, we're gradually catching up now and starting to get through a few of these long-term jobs, so that's good. So they are. I just thought I'd get a bit of yours while it's outside. We're going to put it in our fiberglass bay now and um, get ready for Alan for this weekend. So do some more then. <laughs>